Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, virtual presentation. Today we are going to talk about uh, a new technique for scaling up the emerging threat analysis uh, using a combination of honeypot, machine learning, graph learning, and uh, automatic reasoning system. This presentation is a work of four Alibaba Cloud team members, including me, for BotConf 2020. So a bit more about us. My name is Ali Fakir Tabrizi. I am a principal data scientist. And today, in, in this presentation, my colleague, Dr. Hang Leng Liu, Director of Engineering, is with us, and he helped me with this presentation. There he is, saying hi. And also, Anastasia Polyako, Senior Security Engineer, and Yohai Ain of Principal Security Research and Security Evangelist, are two members who helped us with this work and this presentation. So our team is Security Innovation Labs, we are located in Sunnyvale, California, and we are a part of Alibaba Cloud. The goal of our team is to provide actionable trade intelligence in real life. So what we do, we provide data-driven intelligent machine to deal with all possible challenges that we might have in cloud security. We, we, we try to integrate internal and external data um, to detect new things or uh, pr produce new, new intelligence. We also build AI to fight AI. Of course, uh, uh, malicious uh, algorithm-based AI. And we are also in collaboration with Chinese and Western uh, security companies. So first, let's start by telling you what you are going to see in this presentation. At first, we are going to talk about uh, Honeypot and uh, the real scenarios where the Honeypot alone might not be sufficient. We are going to show you how in, uh, on real case scenarios and how easy we can get buried down with the huge amount of uh, data and samples detected by Honeypot and how that can easily uh, paralyze our detection methods. Then uh, we, we provide uh, our solution uh, and we show how a topological graph-based mindset can, can help in, in this case to first, uh, to represent the different piece of the information and knowledge. And also with these uh, kind of presentation, we can use machine learning algorithm to detect the behavior relations between the, between the data. And actually su such machine learning graph learning algorithm can help us to detect the hidden latent relations between the pieces of the knowledge. And then we will show you that even this might not be enough because AI is not perfect. And uh, this can lead to, uh, to uh, a, a high rate of fa false positives. So we need a, an automatic system for the real proof. And we will show how a knowledge graph and reasoning system can be the answer to provide the real proof. So uh, starting with Honeypot, at left, what you are seeing is a classic case of, uh, of, of a honeypot dealing with a potential uh, emerging uh, payload that the detection is done and we successfully extracted the, 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 the malicious URL and the corresponding shell. The problem here is that at the, at the time that we saw this, we did not see anything on VirusTotal or any other ground truth. And there are many, many of of new samples like this. So what should we do? The, of course, there, there are some ways to deal with it. We can Maybe we can use a high interactive honeypot or, or run this malware in a, in a sandbox or apply some statistical analysis. But the, the new method that we are going to propose in this work is a, a method where we can scale up easier and also do it uh, in an automatic way. So that's the reason we suggest to put artificial intelligence here. Let's go see how, how we do that. In Alibaba Cloud Security Center, our customers want good protection, but we are dealing with too much uh, data coming from Honeypot to analyze. So what we can do? Imagine if we would be able to establish a relation between the emerging URLs and the samples of URLs that we already have in our database, and we know we know they are they are malicious, that, that would be great because then we could measure the strength 
of the connection and relations between the emerging URLs and the malicious ones and only take the very strong one and say that, okay, those are very possible malicious stuff. To this end, we need, we need, two, we need two things. We need, first, we need a tool to learn the behavioral patterns. So we can, we can detect the patterns in the emerging URLs and also detecting the patterns of the URLs we already have in our database. This can be done by a graph embedding algorithm. Then we, we also need a, another tool to reason all over these, this graph and this pattern to inference the knowledge and get us to a real proof. Th that is where we need a knowledge graph reasoning system. So let's review how human brain relates different pieces of the information. We use the expressions like URLs can share the same IP, malwares can share, share the same file name, and etc. That's the, that's the way uh, how, our, how the human brain works. It, uh, it gets different expression, encodes the knowledge inside those expressions, and later on try to relate them and make some conclusions. The machines are different. The machines need to distinguish uh, between different pieces of the information, know the type of the information, and uh, try to relate them together and how to relate them together. It, the machine needs a representation platform for that information. One way is in a topological graph. So as you can see here, that you know, for, uh, the machine here will consider the URL, host IPs, machine IDs, and file hashes as the graph nodes. So those are one type of the information. There are other kind of the information in topo topological graph pl platform for machine, like network connection or any other relations those will be considered as the graph edges. So th that's how the machine will handle different piece of the information here. So creating such graph, which this representation will help us to apply the known algorithm in machine learning for graph. An embedding algorithm, for example, that we are using here, can help us to learn the behavior pattern existing in such graph which will be really helpful to estimate the true relations between different pieces of the knowledge. Continuing with, with the graph embedding concept and the, the machine learning uh, algorithm that we apply here, let's consider the we, we constructed the graph to represent the knowledge as we talked in the previous slide. And we have, we have this graph. So that uh, represent the, 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 the real information that we got. As an example, imagine that we have the node U and we have the node V, that we know that we can walk in a graph from U to V, there is a, there is, there is a path from this. In, in a real case scenario, imagine that the, the U is an instance ID, is, is an instance machine. And if we walk to the graph from this instance, we can come and get to the, to the IP of this instance. And from that IP, we can walk to another node that means that this is the URL that this IP from this instance of you has been downloaded. And this URL, if we walk in the graph, we will get to a file name or to a hash to, to a SHA of, of, of that file that has been downloaded. And this SHA from this SHA in the graph, we can walk to V, another node, that can be actually a node represent that this SHA has been seen in virus total or any other ground truth. So you can see if we create this graph from an instance ID, we can conclude that if this instance has been hijacked or do, doing something potential malicious, as you can, if, if you walk in this graph. So what we want to do, because this graph can be multidimensional and can be very sparse and lots of the computational problem. What we want to do, we want to estimate the probability of having you, you getting to V. In another world, if we have U, what is the probability of maliciousness of this U? because V is, for example, seen in virus total. So what we do, we, we create a, a, a sequence model, a, the, the model, a model of sequences of the nodes. As you can see, it is like we flatten the graph 
and that is actually one of the uh, how one of the machine learning model gets the input so we, we call them node embedding and after that what we, what we do we try to optimize the, the uh, to to learn such sequence so machine can predict su such sequence in a machine learning uh, vocabulary we are saying that we are we are minimizing this loss which is which is the the wrong order of of such such nodes so if we do this optimization we actually end up in a vector space for nodes which is a, a transition from the gr graph space to this vector space. In this vector space, we have some particular characteristics. One, ca one special characteristic is that this probability that we were looking for is actually directly related to cosine of the two vectors that we are looking for. So a, a bit of math here, if two vectors are very similar, the, the cosine between two, two, those, that, those two vectors will tend to be one. So actually we can use this cosine value as a similarity measure. So uh, let, let's show with a, with a real example that what a machine actually learned for security here. At left, you are seeing a, a graph that we created from the, the knowledge we gathered from net, network traffic space. And uh, we, we know from our, our threat intelligence data, data set that uh, MIPS URL is a malicious one. And we want to judge to know that uh, Chiabin's SH URL, which is an emerging new one, we want to know if it is malicious or not. The, the machine learning algorithm that we use for embedding, it actually provides an encoding function Z that will map each of these nodes from a net, network traffic space to embed vector space. And as I mentioned in previous slide, vector space has, a, has an interesting attribute where each two, two vectors can, can be checked with the, with the angle between those vectors. And if we calculate the cosine of those angles, that can be used as a similarity measurement. So if two vectors are very near to each other in this space, we can judge them that maybe they are doing the same thing. As you can see, MIPS URL has been mapped here, and the, and the Chia Beans has, has mapped here. Because we know already that, uh, that, that MIPS is malicious, so we can we can judge say that okay it is very possible that that uh, Chia Beans SH also is a malicious one. So uh, embedding algorithm seems pretty exciting, right? But I have a bad news: AI is not perfect. At least not always perfect. What I want to say, I mean, uh, it is inevitable to deal with false positives when AI goes wrong. So what we should do and how we can handle these, these mistakes by AI. I ask uh, Dr. Hong Leng Liu to continue and talk about it and how we get to the real proof. Please. Yes, thank you, Ali. We can see one machine learning model can do very well for one specific task, while the model may fail for some other task in the miserable way, just like they think this cat is a dog. While we see the simple correlation from the graph, we may want to connect multiple models together to try to see the proof. So why don't we leverage the multiple models by their individual unique power to support the proof? Now we have want to solve the first question. How do we let these different models talk to each other? Yes, we need a common language we call the knowledge representation. First, Let's leverage knowledge graph and represent our security model output into this triple format. We call it the subject, the predicate, and the object. Well, you can consider it's two nodes and one relation in between, like the graph we've seen. However, this graph is slightly different than the regular common graph. We can see for each node, it has two parts, the ontology, well, it shows the category of this, uh, this node. Here is the URL and the value, which will 
is 5.13109228 slash beans. Why we define in this way? Because we want to solve the confusions across different model outputs. One model can output URL as 5.133, the other model can output IP as 1.33. We know IP is IP, URL is URL category. We cannot make a connection in between. With such a definition, we can represent all these model output in this unified way. Well, we can have the URL as one category, we can have the short value as a category, we also have the classification as a category. With such subject, predicate, and object, we call the knowledge triple, we can start to build the knowledge graph. Now we have each model that produce a unified uh, knowledge representation. Although the knowledge can be totally different, we have the shared common language we can talk to. This shared common language can be uh, can be shared between all the models, even if some human knowledge we can represent in this way. For example, our security research got some threat intelligence, says we have the URL to download some SHA value file. Yes, let's write them into subject equal to URL equal to what what, predicate equal to download, and the object equal to the SHA value. Now we have the piece of knowledge that our machine can understand. With such a piece of knowledge, we put them together to the auto-reasoning framework. The auto-reasoning framework, you can think, is a knowledge construction framework, where we have the knowledge from, for example, we have the URL to the short value. URL correlated with another URL. All the short value in the sandbox we captured, it communicates to our command control. All the, in our static uh, analysis, we have the short value, we can classify it. It's as a Mirai. So we can collect all this knowledge together. If two pieces of the knowledge, they share the same node, for example, they share the same URL, or they share the same short value, we can connect these two pieces of knowledge together. If we keep repeatedly doing that, after a few iterations, we can have a beautiful knowledge graph. Such implementation can be different ways. We use our in-house implementation, but there's a very good open source equivalent called Spark. So feel free to uh, search for G Gina in Apache, pro uh, in, uh, in Apache project and get Spark. Yes, we constructed the, the graph. Now we want the graph to, to, to tell us a little bit more. Where we run the task uh, in knowledge graph called link prediction. Where it applies here is we try to predict if this related by embedding link can be predicted by the full graph. How do you do that is the task becomes do we find any detour path between these two nodes, not in this related by embedding, but somewhere else, like this one, same host, downloaded the sharp value, being classified as the same Mirai, and another sharp value being classified as the same Mirai on the same machine, and this Mirai is downloaded by this URL, and this URL has the same host as, as the other one. If we have, if we have enough samples of this, we can know this D2 path can be a good proof for this related by embedding path. That means we have the evidence to support this prediction by graph embedding is valid. Besides the prediction and the proof, such a graph can also provide the enriched context. So we can present to our security researchers, and our security researcher can understand that you have the prediction from the graph embedding, as well as all the contacts to support your prediction. When we collect much Honeypot data, we want to scale up the data analysis. So we introduce graph embedding to find the correlation for the new samples versus the old samples. After the correlation, we want to prove this correlation can lead to causation. We introduce a knowledge graph and reasoning to find the supportive proof and explanations. The first model we talk about here, the graph embedding model, 
can have the capability to learn uh, in the graph by walking in the graph and learn the sequence and find the embedded space. In this embedded vector space, the same behavior can, can get in close together. So we can find that the new URL can be associated with the old URLs in the very close uh, embedding space. Later, we introduce the unified knowledge representation in knowledge graph. So different models can provide the uh, security knowledge output in the unified way. With this unified knowledge, we can construct the graph and run the reasoning on that. After the running of the reasoning with the linked prediction task, we connect the uh, we connect the knowledge graph nodes together by its D two path, which pr provides the supportive proofs and the explanation as the enriched context for them. The most important is that the, while the full system is deployed in Alibaba Cloud to protect our customers. Each algorithm can, can find its equivalent in the open source. So all the open source implementations are valuable if you want to build one for yourself um, and have some fun with it. At the last but not, not at the least, uh, Security Innovation Labs from Sunnyvale, uh, California in Alibaba Cloud it has the primary mission to protect the, our cloud customers. Uh, we explore intelligent models and we apply them to all the security problems on the cloud. So we welcome any academic discussions as well as the collaborations on security and threat intelligence. So feel free to email us, uh, and you can find our email address in the first page. Thank you.